So now let's work with the manual camera transform options and then add in keyframes for camera movements for camera animation. So in order to add a camera first to our scene, I'm going to go on to scene and then I'm going to click on new scene camera. So once I do that on the right hand side, you can see that I have camera track behavior. So this is what we looked at in the previous lesson and this is what we're going to focus on on this lesson. So over here you can see that there's position X. So if I were to click and drag it, you can see that it pans the camera left and right, right here. And if I were to click and drag on position Y, it pans the camera top and down, right over here, just like this. I can use this to zoom in and then I can use this to rotation. Rotation is not very used often unless you're using a Seiki cam effect. So I'm going to go forward right over here from the top and right around into 0.5 seconds, I want to start adding animation to position X, to position Y, and then zoom. So what I want to do is until around in one second, you can see that I have added in keyframes all over here until around in one second, I want to increase out the position right here. And then I want to use the zoom feature right here to focus on the character. Maybe I want to change out the Y position as well to focus on the character's face, just like this. So now what we have is we have this sort of an animation, as you can see, where the camera actually focuses on the character. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that it focuses on the character just like that. And then right around into two seconds, let's say I want it to uh, focus out again. So I'm going to go around over here and then add in another keyframe. So I'm just going to add in keyframe from this section right here, click on this, and then the keyframes will be added in. So what happens is that we have this keyframe, we have zoom in, and then we added in another keyframe for hold. And then right around over here, what I want to do is zoom out a bit, let's say, and then change this out in the camera movement and the position as well. So what we have is this as a final result. So if I were to press the play button right here, you can see that the camera zooms in and then zooms out a bit. And there you go. So you have camera animation just like that. So what else I'm going to do is I'm going to add an ASIN to the keyframes right here. So you can see that the movement is quite abrupt. So I'm just going to select it out and I'm going to ease it out. If you're not used to keyframe yet, then you might want to view my uh, tutorial lessons on keyframe animation and then get on with this lesson so that you are more familiar with keyframes. So I'm going to, just going to play around uh, and press the play button right here. And you can see that it is much more smoother now. So there's a smoother movement. I want to increase out the timing. So I'm just going to select these three keyframes, pull that back out and select these three keyframes and pull that out as well. So now I have this as a result. You can see that it zooms in, it zooms out a bit, and there you go. Zooms in, zooms out a bit, just like that. So I'm going to go around right here. So at the end, what I want is I want the same cam uh, camera position. So it actually kind of loops back. So there you go. So now I have zoom in, I got zoom out, and it zooms back out. And again, there's a zoom in effect just like this, as you can see. So now uh, what I'm going to also do is change out the type of keyframe. So if I want it to jump from one shot to another, instead of having an A's, you can right click and toggle whole keyframe. So what this does is that you can see that the camera now jumps into different shots like that. And this is how it looks like. So it all depends on what kind of camera movement you like. So on the first hand side, what I want to do is let, let me just select all of these right here, just like this. And then I'm going to go for A's and there's a smooth zoom in right here. And then there's a jump right here from that section. So zoom in and then to jump out, jump cut just like that. So that is how you can add in manual camera transformation uh, animation and add in keyframes to it for manual camera animation. And this is uh, more in control compared to mouse and touch input. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.